This lab will be finding the solubility curve of potassium nitrate in water. Uh, we're going to be working with potassium nitrate today, which is a, an ionic compound. It's a salt. And we're going to be seeing how soluble it is, how much of it can dissolve in water. So you see what it looks like here as a solid. Uh, first thing we're going to do is measure out a 2 gram sample of potassium nitrate. So we measure that out on our balance. And we'll take our 2 gram sample of potassium nitrate and put that in a test tube. And then we'll repeat that process with a 4 gram sample, a 6 gram sample, and an 8 gram sample, which I've already measured out. Uh, what we want to do now is dissolve them in water. So to each of those samples, we're going to measure out 5 milliliters of water. So we take a 5 milliliter sample of water. We'll measure it with our pipette. And we'll add 5 milliliters of water to each of the four test tubes. So we're trying to make solutions here with different concentrations. Uh, concentration is the ratio between solute and solvent. So our solvent here is water, and we're having 5 milliliters of water in each of our solutions. And then we'll vary the amount of the solute, the salt, potassium nitrate. OK, so we made up our four solutions with low concentration on up to a high concentration. If you look at the solutions right now, um, we can mix them around a little bit, and they don't dissolve all entirely right away. In order to make things dissolve faster, there's a couple things we can do. Um, one thing we can do is stir it. That brings the solute particles in contact with the solvent more frequently and makes them dissolve faster. Um, we can also change the surface area by making the particles smaller. Uh, or we can use heat. So when we heat things, generally at higher temperatures, they'll dissolve more quickly. So I'm going to take the uh, test tubes. I already have some set up from earlier. And put them into a hot water bath. And in the hot water bath, uh, we're going to stir these solutions until the salts have completely dissolved. So this is what the salt crystals look like before they've been dissolved. You can see the little particles still in, this, uh, in the solution. And then after we've heated them in a hot water bath for a little while, they'll look like this. So all the particles have dissolved and you have a solution. In the solution you cannot see any of the salt particles. Um, before they're entirely dissolved you can see the salt crystals. So what we're going to do now is stir this and let it cool and see at what temperature will the crystals come back out of solution. Uh, to speed this up a little bit, we can use a cold water bath. So we have some ice here. And we'll dip this in and we'll stir it a bit, pull it out. We'll see if any salt crystals are forming. So, so far, they have not. This particular solution has the lowest concentration of the four we're going to be testing today. This one has two grams of salt dissolved in five milliliters of water. So we're cooling it. We're down to about 40 degrees now. Uh, still don't see any of the salt particles. So we'll cool it a bit more. Move it around in that solution. We want to, oh, and here we have some salt particles starting to form now. You see it came out of solution. And we look at the temperature right now, and it's 25 degrees Celsius when those particles came back out of solution. So the saturation point for the solution with 2 grams of potassium nitrate in 5 milliliters of water was about 25 degrees Celsius. If we heated this back up, we could get the solutions to go back into solution. All right, next we'll do the one with 4 grams of salt. So this solution has 4 grams of salt. And we'll do the same thing here. We'll stir it and cool it. So, so far, no salt particles are visible. It's still a solution. And as we cool this down, we'll eventually reach the point where the crystals form. There it is. And that one occurred at 47 degrees Celsius. So at 47 degrees Celsius, the solution with 4 grams of salt in 5 milliliters of water started to crystallize and came out of solution. Okay, we have two more to go. We have the solution that contains 6 uh, grams of salt dissolved in 5 milliliters of water. So we'll cool this one off. This one will go a little faster than the last two if the trend continues. So we're stirring this and We already see some crystals forming there at the bottom. We just want to get it when the first crystals start to form. And that occurred at 
66 degrees Celsius. So it's 66 degrees. We started to get crystals out of the six grams of potassium nitrate solution. And moving on to our final and highest concentration. So this one contains eight grams of potassium nitrate in five milliliters of water. And this one, we won't have to cool very much. We'll just dip it in the cold water kind of briefly. And oh, already we see some crystals forming. And that occurred at 83 degrees Celsius. 83 degrees Celsius, and we got crystals of potassium nitrate forming in that solution.